Once the April shower started, it seemed like they would never end. The garden is very late to get started, but I have faith and hope that if I plant it, it will still grow and flourish. So I'm going to get started with my tomatoes. I only have this one row. I can only plant nine tomatoes. I usually use plastic, but in one of the storms, it blew off, which gave me the perfect opportunity to put down some composted rabbit manure and compost and go ahead and till it in. However, my tiller battery is low, and so while it charges, we're going to go ahead and turn our attention to my little zucchini box. Now, I only plant one zucchini, but as you can see, the weeds have just really taken over with all the rain. The weeds have grown strong and healthy, and so now there's just nothing but to do but to go ahead and pull the weeds. As you can see, once all those weeds were pulled, I was left with hardly any soil. So I'm going to line the box to prevent more weeds and add in some rich compost. Now I'm adding in some raised bed mix with some nice rich compost and worm castings, everything to help amend the soil to give my plant a good boost. didn't take long and I want that battery to charge a little longer I'm gonna go ahead and start weed trimming I'm going to knock down these weeds as I said with all the rain they're just out of control I did spray this area already but it just hasn't taken effect so let's knock the weeds down if you notice I will be tapping the ground several times and I'm not adjusting the string on the trimmer what I'm actually doing is trying to warn a little gardener snake that I saw out here this morning. I don't want to hurt her with the string on the trimmer. When I came back out, she was over by the rototiller and so I'm just trying to make enough noise to push her in the other direction so I don't hurt her with the weed trimmer.
this point, I just add some supports to help hold the plastic in place. And I don't put anything on top of the plastic. I like to keep it clear. And then I can see all of my plant. And mulch can sometimes have weed seeds in it. And then you're weeding more. It can also have things in it that can cause disease to the plant. And also those little bugs like to hide in there and chew on the plant or the fruit. And so those all have a negative impact on my harvest. So I just keep it very simple and keep it like this. And after I add the last support, this area will be all finished and I will be ready to plant my tomatoes. Once I'm done with this, I will be moving on to the sunflower garden. So here is the tomato spots and here is the zucchini. Now the sunflower area, I am hoping to get it tilled up. I don't know if I can before the rain, but if you look here, there are all these tiny little sunflowers growing everywhere and I don't just want to till them under so I'm going to go ahead and dig each one up and plant them in another container and then I can put them back after I'm done rototilling. This is how many I actually found in that area and I have them sorted by rows because there were many different varieties there so hopefully I'll remember where they go when I put them back but the rain came and the rain hung out for a few days so we are delayed even a little bit longer, but that's okay. I think we're going to have good luck.
it's wonderful to have all of these planted. I'm excited to see them grow. Unfortunately for the sunflowers, I didn't get it rototilled because of the rain. We'll keep working on it and I'll be sure to keep you posted. But night is falling, but I still have a few things left to do. I was given five tomato plants from our friend and our groomer and I want to get them planted. And if you're like me, I love to garden in the evening. It's cool, it's quiet, it's calm, and it's the perfect time to plant these five tomatoes. As I said, I only have room for nine tomatoes in my tomato row. So I picked up these wonderful little grow bags and I'm gonna put them in there. These are some really unique tomatoes that I've never even heard of. In fact, one of them isn't a tomato at all, and I have heard of a tomatillo, and that is one of them. But there is a orangey peach, there is a sunrise bumblebee yellow, there is an evil olive. Let me know if you've heard of any of these. But I'm lucky enough to have this light on the back of our home, which keeps my garden illuminated all night long so many times I can come out here at night and work in my garden or work late and lately I have been I've been resting during the hot of the day and then coming out and working all the way into the darkness and I just really enjoy it let me know if you're a nighttime gardener as well as you can see I've gotten all my tomatoes planted now and these will probably need staked but that's okay. I'll get them staked so that it supports them and they'll grow very nicely. I want to thank each of you for spending some time with me today. And even though my garden is getting a late start, I hope that you'll be here throughout the gardening season with me. Thank you to everyone and be blessed, be safe, and I'll see you soon.